guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut, and today I am here with Jake, the Neighborhood Lawn Kid, and we are going to compare the Toro Super Recycler versus the Toro Recycler. You ready to go, Jake? Yeah, let's do go, it. Go, bro. Bam! Okay guys, so what me and Jake want you to know is that this review is really more about the performance when we compare the two mowers. But there are some things we need to point out here that are pretty obvious. First of all is my Toro Super Recycler's rear wheel drive and Jake's Recycler is front wheel drive. You can get the Recycler in a rear wheel drive with the personal pay system. So that's only a difference just because of the way we purchased here. It's not something that's going to really change the performance too much though. Another thing to realize is that the Recycler is actually a 22 inch cut and the Super is only a 21. And as I've told you in another video, ask your girlfriend, she'll tell you how much that extra inch really means. So there's one advantage to the old Recycler. Now the other thing here is going to be cost, and what's interesting is both of these are base models. So the recycler on the right is the base model or entry level recycler, and my super recycler is actually an entry level also. Now the difference in price, that's a big deal. The recycler was $279 at Home Depot, and my super recycler was $499 and I bought it from my local lawnmower shop. And then the other question a lot of people ask is why do they call the Super Recycler Super? And here's why, it's underneath the deck. You can go ahead and see that there's these two like wedges under there. What those wedges do is when the blade is spinning and cuts the clippings, the wedges, instead of letting them stay to the outside of the deck, it, they deflect the clippings back into the blade so they can be uh, ground up into bigger bits, smaller bits. The other thing is there's this wing that's over the blade. That wing kind of pushes more air, again, to keep everything moving underneath there. So you have the wedges pushing everything into the middle to get ground up into smaller bits, and you have these wings have with creating this airflow that keeps everything moving. So that's why the Super Recycler is super. And with that, let's start a review and let's do a side-by-side -side mowing pass. Okay, so now we're gonna do some test cuts between the two. We've got them both raised to the same height, so now we can look at how the, the cut looks between the two. And then after that, we're gonna talk about how they feel when they cut. So what, tell me what you're seeing. So what are you noticing? I'm noticing that mine leaves a little bit of grass while yours is actually taking up the grass. Right, so that would be that super recycler coming in, right? Right. Because it's super recycling. Yeah. We're noticing that? Okay, good. Let's put the lawnmowers up. Okay, so here's the two cuts. So Jake, what's the first thing you notice between the two cuts? Um, the, the Toro recycler, um, as it went through this, this lawn, left a little bit of grass behind. Yeah. While the super recycler, Left um, didn't leave much clippings behind. Like it looks like a very clean pass. Right. Very good. Exactly right. So that would be what that super recycling quality, right? Right. It's actually super recycling. Yeah. That's probably what, why they call it super. Recycling. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're each going to use the mowers and we're going to see which one we like best from just standpoint of comfort and for power and ease of use.
right, so we, we both made passes, and I'll tell you what, it really reminds me of why I don't like front wheel drive mowers. Just really hard to control, everything's hopping around, but that's me, I'm not used to using it. That's Jake's mower that he uses all the time. So, what do you think, Jake, between the two, just power and ease of use? Well, I've been, even though I've had a, a lot of experience with the Toro Recycler, I still prefer the Toro Super Recycler because how fast you walk is how fast you mow instead of having to keep up with the pace and it uh -huh. gives you a much straighter cut and a much cleaner cut quality. There you go. So he likes that personal pace and I think that might be available on the Toro Recycler also. And my Super Recycler does have the personal pace which you like. But the whole thing is again it's that clean cut quality and you can feel the power. But I will say the Toro Recycler does have plenty of power. It does a nice job so it's not a weak lawnmower. It just doesn't have that same solid feel that the Super Recycler has. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Good. Okay guys, so that concludes the review. The lawn looks horrible. You know, in all fairness, it was severely overgrown. We got tons of rain this week, so really it was overgrown. I should have cut it even higher, but it was still a good test for the two lawnmowers. So Jake, what was your final verdict? Super recycler or recycler? Super recycler. Yeah, because he's, his dad has endless pockets. He can buy the most expensive mower, so why not, right Jake? Right. Exactly. So I'm Alan Hayden, the Lawn Care Nut, joined here today by Neighborhood Lawn Kid Jake, and we will see you in the lawn. One care nut and we will see you in the lawn.